G'day guys, it's Disaster Sage here, back at it again with Life is Strange Episode 4 Part 2. We get to finally see Kate in hospital, it's been so long since I've seen her. I hope you'll enjoy and I'll see you all in the video. Okay. Oh shit. Ooh, I've never been in here. Oh, he hello. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Let's actually take a look. Oh my... Okay, what is going on? Why can't I move? Ugh. Okay. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. That's true. Okay, let's open. <laughs> William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. I love how she just doesn't give a shit that I'm just looking for her shit. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. Um, maybe William? I, I actually don't know. Okay, let her. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Oh shit. Ah, dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I am committing her to well-being but I want you to understand the reality <coughs> that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to work, to be working for uh, with her. Oh my God! I just want you, as parents, to prepare for any of, for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Dr. Anton Phoebus. Okay. Hello, dog. Dog? Doggy? Hello? I can't see you. You're not really. Where's the birds at? Okay, let's just open this right next to it. Joyce is already a super mom. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Okay. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. Aww. That sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. So sweet. Um, I kind of want to do the other option as well, but okay, fine, whatever. Joyce. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Um... Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Um, okay. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, oh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. And we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except... Now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. 
So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Um... I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... she... Do you know what I'm saying? I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. Yeah. That's such a shame. Shut up, dog. Wherever you are. Oh dear. Now, um, let's go into her old room. <gasps> it's empty with boxes. And why the hell is that there? No, I don't want to sit. Um, ah, oh, this looks so fucking weird without all that shit in here. Poster. Butterfly. Blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Damn straight. Mm, kind of. Okay. Um. Wow, well, Max, you're actually tall. I guess. I never heard much about William's brother. Hi Bill, sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where to work is these days. Oh, I wish I could have seen you, uh, sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next time, next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy, your brother, Aaron. Okay. That's sweet, but yeah, money is fucking bullshit. Crutches, letter. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I'm so sorry that I can't help you with alone at this time, like everybody else. I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug for my best wishes. Love, Aunt Dorothy. Right. I'm sure you've lived long enough. Uh oh. Is, is that too mean? Mm, can't go in there. Can't. Okay. Let's just get this. Um. A little, a little, a little. Wait. Where? Hello? Light switch. Do I actually have to turn it on? The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Oh, God. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Maybe you are. Nothing here. Pills. <laughs> it's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. Okay. All right, let's get back. Um... Okay, I'll turn it off. Hmm. Can I actually... I don't want to raid. I just want to get this to her. Hmm, okay. Hello, Chloe. Actually, I'm gonna um, just quickly do and video real quick um what am i looking at look whoa 
Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That... Okay. So does it, like, go in her mouth or something? That's just weird. Uh, okay, okay. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Um... Of course my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Uh, where did she say it was? Alright, that's... Photo. Okay. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Okay. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Yes, yes there is. Because I got the time on my side. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. Oh no. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. That's because it was. I wish it was. Wait. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... <sighs> Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along and I will too this isn't how I want things to end what? what are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today I want this time with you to be my last memory. Oh, hell no. You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Yeah, no. I'm not gonna kill you. Oh, I could actually do I, I know. But then what happens if I do I know? I don't know. <laughs> what am I saying? Le I actually wonder what would happen, but no. Chloe, I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying 
from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. Bye. I'm going to help you, but not like that. Mm. You have to believe me, Chloe. Not like this. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. Just go back in time, but keep in touch. Like, fuck. I'm sorry, William. Uh. Yes, 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 I know, I know. Okay, wrong way. There we go. Look at that. I'm a pro. Someday uh, Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. <laughs> Neither of Hello? them deserve this. Hey, honey. No, no one does. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. No. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever! And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Oh, that sounds Max, so good. Too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Uh Fuck this game hits you with those feels. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Oh, the feel was man. Chloe, you're back. 
Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Okay, um... Examine? Wait, when did they, um, steal, uh, Frank's diary? So close, yet so Cause... far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three beats Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. <laughs> kick it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Please don't remind I me of that. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. Okay, hang on. Can I turn it's you off? It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Okay, let me just leave, so I can actually talk. God, you're still there. Okay, so, um, with the, um, diary, I don't know at what moment we, um, end up grabbing that, because I remember Chloe chucked it down on the, um, counter, or the table, and then we, um, hightailed it out of there, so... Yeah, and do not remind me about the uh, money that I stole. Oh god. Please. Oh, hello, David. That's a nice ear you've got there. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David! I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Oof. All right. What am I looking here? Looks like David already booked a room. That was quick. Um. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Maybe. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Joyce, you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do, I never, I, I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Take, taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstepped bounds with the, with the surveillance and 
and suspicion, and I am truly sorry and ashamed, but there are dark things happening in Acadia Bay. I have never told you. You are my wife and partner, and I know we should have no secrets. I intend... I, I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student almost committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... Oof. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Madsen, thank you for your help with Nathan. It, um, it is appreciated. Blah, blah, blah. I wonder if David is going to the party. Hope not. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. As per our discussion about the new campus surveillance system, Miss Grant has informed me that her petition was only one avenue pr protest. Oh, what? While we initiate this new era of Blackwell security, we must find middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. I didn't need a surveillance camera to see the suspension coming. Best of luck to you. At least he has one weird fan. Dear Mr. Madsen, I just wanted to let you know that... I just wanted to let you know I think it's bullshit what happened to you at the school. Has too many libtard metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge and I thought about you protecting me. Um, in what way? I hope, <laughs> I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make sure we are all safe at night. Okay, this... Okay. You need to see a therapist. That's fucking... Wow. I am scared of this school. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy, untrustworthy students. There is a cancer at Blackwell Academy, and without me, it will continue to spread. Ooh. Okay, let's just quickly find this thing. Whatever it is. I know it's probably in here. Look at that. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Fuck, now I had to break it open? What's this? Rope? Oh, oh no, eggs. Look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I bet... Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Oh, please don't make these little birds die like the others. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Okay, um, let's see what can I use to open, to break it open with, um, da da da. Crowbar, how convenient. If I can take it. Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Twin Peaks. Okay. Oh, all I know is that um, Nathan was on top Score. of. Uh, Back to one, Chloe now. So, okay, interesting. I guess I miss out on the action too. <laughs> Photo. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? Always. 
You sound broken. Oh, can I? Yo, I Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Yes, definitely. Oh, this is so cool. Finally, we can see Kate. Oh. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. Oh, I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. Please don't. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. Mm. I'm a little nervous. Just oh, please still be alive. Go and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Aww. I love you, Chloe. Thanks, Chloe. Give her a hug. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Oh, uh, I, I don't like this feeling. Why are you so hesitant? Oh, thank God. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. Aww. I'm keeping the balloons, though. <laughs> One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. So what you're saying is that your parents haven't visited you yet? Whoa. If that is actually true, Jesus Christ, that is so wrong. But I'm so glad that you're okay. Hug, kiss. Um, okay, postcards first. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. Okay, I'm not, not Nathan. I'm not gonna exactly um, raid all of this. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Okay, I have to read this one though. Kate, I know you hate me and you should, but I only want to see your smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. Oh, was that it?
Oh. Something. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Victoria. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh, not nice. But I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but... I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and... We had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? Okay, we all know we want to go this option, but we all know it's this one. Oh, uh, can I just say that she's a bitch? Fine. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Um... Chloe. No boys allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? Um... I mean, both? But... I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. What's it Tell time? Alice I'll see her oh, soon. Oh, Alice. <laughs> so cute. Oh, that is... Wow, so I have no idea how this um, story is now going to end. Like, obviously it will still end the same way, most likely, but now with her in the picture, I think I'm going to do extra stuff, maybe? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Till then, see you next time.